Good morning, Nutty Buddy Nation. How are you guys doing today? I am getting ready to get my day started and I'm gonna post this little vlog on Vanessa VIPB like when I'm not doing nothing like this pertaining to like just van life. I'm just every day living in my van uh doing city van life parking in the city and not really doing nothing too exciting but you know i got my regular everyday routines that i'm doing so i'm just gonna post that over here on this channel until i get a chance to film uh some other videos that i want to film so uh i'm not gonna go live i'm gonna try not to go live y'all i'm just addicted to going live and y'all addicted to me going live i'm gonna try not to go live today and for the next few days i'm gonna try it's it's not gonna it's not gonna work i already know uh and but i've been going live in the van so y'all just see the background of the van so you don't really know where i'm at so yeah that's what i want to start doing you don't need to know where i'm at in real time because i could be back in arizona right now and you wouldn't even know it and that's the way i want it so uh i'm about to pick my bed up and I'm still undecided on what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to share that with you guys whenever whenever I figure out what I'm going to do today. You will be the first to know what I'm going to do today. I was kind of thinking about going by the thrift store and seeing if uh, I could find me some leggings everything is um 50 cents today and i normally don't go to the thrift store early on the 50 cents day which would be better if you go early because you could find better stuff uh for 50 cents opposed to going later and finding stuff that's picked through so I come to the thrift store today and then it's somewhere else I want to go today. And then I want to go to Bucky's and do uh, some videos. Uh, there are several Bucky's in Houston. And I was thinking about going to another one uh, and getting some more content. But I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. But y'all stay tuned and y'all will see so i'm about to pick up my mattress and i can't find my other phone so hopefully i can find my other phone and i think i need to throw out um i think i need to throw out this little thing this for my head in the shower uh i need to hang it up so it won't it could get it's damp so uh, I think I need to throw some stuff at my refrigerator because I haven't been able to have my solar on every day uh, because we have, have an overcast. And some people was asking, Vanessa, why can't you run your refrigerator every day, nonstop? When you have solar in a van and you're not plugged up to electricity, you are relying on the sun. When the sun is not out and it's overcast and you're not getting optimal uh, solar coming into your uh, power supply banks, battery banks, then the sun is what provides the energy. When you're not getting enough energy coming in because the sun is not out, then you don't have enough energy to run your refrigerator or to run your appliances or to keep everything plugged up all the time. My refrigerator needs to stay plugged up all the time. In order for it to stay plugged up all the time, it needs the power and the energy to stay plugged up all the time. When the energy is not coming in and you got the refrigerator on, you're depleting the energy that's already in there and you're not putting anything back in there in reserve to keep it going, keep it going, keep it going constantly. So sometimes, the batteries get low and you don't want them to get too too low where uh 
you run them too low and if you run a AGM battery too low then you mess it up and it's not good anymore so you don't want to do that so sometimes I have to unplug my refrigerator because I wasn't getting enough solar coming in and then if I have food up in there then it's going to go bad if I don't keep the refrigerator plugged up so right now I got food in the refrigerator that is not probably going to be good and I don't want to take a chance eating it so I'm just going to throw it away so anywho let me pick up my mattress and I'll see y'all in a bit So my back is hurting just a little bit from just leaning over and not being able to always stand completely up. So I just got to sweeping the floor, um, dusting off my front door mat. And I'm going to go in this refrigerator. I just got to take in some dirty clothes and put them in the back. Uh, I think, I, is this dirty? I don't know, I don't think that's dirty because I got several like this. And I know it's one already in the dirty clothes, but I'm gonna put that in the dirty clothes as well. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. My refrigerator is currently not on. It's still cool up in there. And this is still cool but it has onions in it and it still, it still smell good y'all. It was frozen at first, it still smell good. I think I'm gonna warm this up and eat this. Like it's no point in letting this go to waste. Let me double check though. I don't know about my, the beef patties still look good. It still look good. Now, I'm skeptical on my liver. I think 
because all these bottles of water right there were frozen. Okay, the liver, the uh, onions don't smell good. The onions by themselves don't smell good. And but I had all these bottles of water that were frozen. The onions don't smell good. Let's check out the nope, the liver is not good. The liver is not good. So we're gonna throw these things away. But I think I'm gonna eat this. Or because I'm going somewhere that I want to eat today. So I might put this up in the freezer where it'll be cooler. And if I feel like it, I might eat this tonight. Or you know what? I'm just gonna go and throw it away because I don't want to take no chances. It's not worth getting sick. So we're just gonna throw this stuff away. And I chipped this thing, this container. I'm not gonna keep that either. This one, I'm gonna keep, but we're gonna throw that away. I need to wash dishes, but it's not gonna be today. <laughs> I'm gonna put this. these dirty dishes in here. I don't think that's going to fit. Nope. So I'll get to dishes soon, maybe tonight. So I'm just going to throw this away. And it's a shame that that food went to waste, but that's what happens when you're not getting power into your solar bank you can't keep stuff running all the time and that's one thing about having um uh, that's one thing about having lithium batteries i would get more power if i had lithium batteries but i don't lithium batteries are expensive There we go. So I got that situated. Uh, so I have to decide if I'm going to go take a shower this morning. I did take a shower last night. Uh, I did sweat a little bit last night and I've been cleaning and I feel a little sticky today. So I do believe I'm gonna go take another shower this morning, but I'm gonna go throw this away and then I'm gonna get my clothes and decide what I'm gonna wear. I'm hungry. I'm going somewhere that I want to eat some stuff today. So I'm trying not to eat nothing like right now, but oof, I don't know if I can, I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Okay, you guys, I'm getting ready to leave and go take my shower. I was trying to find something else to do today. Uh, I was 
thinking about horseback riding and uh i want to do some horseback riding but uh i called a couple of places and they are not answering their phones and uh some of them don't let you ride the horses and uh some of them have a uh package for a month they uh teach you how to ride horses for a month that would be something that i'll be interested in doing but i know that i'm not gonna be in houston for a month so that didn't make any sense to do that now so then i was like well let me go do some rock climbing and uh this place uh said that i, I don't know if you have to have rock climbing lessons uh but they say you have to have 24 hours to sign up for the rock climbing lesson so that's out i can't do that today so i am just gonna go take my shower because time is a ticking and the longer i wait to go take my shower the longer it's gonna take for me to go do whatever it is i decide on doing so i think i'm just gonna just uh go take a shower and go somewhere else and do something else that i wanted to do so i am going to let you guys stay tuned on the other channel to find that out so even though i took a shower last night I'm headed to the gym. That's one thing about having a gym membership. $24 a month is well worth it. You can go take a shower once a day, twice a day, or once a month. <laughs> it, it don't matter. It's totally up to you. So, yeah, I'm about to go in the gym and just take me a long, hot shower so at least I could get this sticky feeling off of me i did sweat a little last night but then today i've been cleaning out the van and sweating this morning so let's just go get us a clean start and uh i'm gonna be doing some food tasting today i don't know what siri talking about i was asking her to give me some directions to somewhere earlier uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing some food tasting today. So I got a good appetite right now. I'm hungry. My stomach is scratching my back. Y'all know I am always hungry, but I only like eat two meals a day. Oh, I've been forgetting to weigh myself at the gym. Uh, so I am going to weigh myself Hopefully, I'm not 200 pounds. That'll be the heaviest I've ever been <coughs> in life. I was watching this YouTuber who, um, she was pregnant with twins and she was over 200 pounds. And she was like, that's the biggest that she's ever been in life. Uh, but she had twins. I ain't carrying no twins. She had a reason why she was over 200 pounds. And she said after she uh, had the baby, she instantly lost like 50 pounds. Cause I'm curious, I don't think she said in her video how much the children weighed. Uh, she had two twin boys and she gained a lot of weight and I think had uh, like diabetes while she was pregnant I think they call it gestational diabetes I don't know I probably just made something up but I think that's what they call it uh, but yeah she had twins and she was 200 pounds so okay y'all I'm about to ease on down ease on down the road There's gonna be a love Ease on the Ease on down the road Ease on down the road That is Look at this
the sky, y'all. It's looking cloudy. Whew, I don't think I'm going to get no solar in today either. Okay, y'all. I'm at the gym. Not that many people in the parking lot like it do. Like it be having at night. But anyway, still got quite a few people in here. Because there's people parked all over there. So let's go take us a good old hot shower. Okay, y'all, let's see how much I weigh. Let me put my keys and stuff down. Okay, y'all, I just made it back from the gym, taking a shower, and I'm sweating already. I don't have no air in my van, so girl, I need to put these windows down. Cause I'm sweating already with this wig on. I can't find the shades that I wanted to wear. I don't know where they at. I'm just gonna wear these. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and we're gonna drive to the side of town that I'm headed to today. And uh, I will see you guys there once I get to where I'm going. I'm gonna end the live because I have some footage to film in that location. But anywho, let me uh, turn y'all around. Siri said I entered the parking lot for my destination. 
I am at Bucky's. So I came to Bucky's the other day, went to Bucky's the other day when I was coming from out of town. Y'all, that three meat burger was so good. I was like, I got to have it again. Look at all the gas pumps. Like this is truly one of the largest gas stations in America. So I am about to head on inside and we have to go get some food. So that is gonna be it for today's vlog on the channel because girl, I'm about to go in here and get some food and I'm gonna do a taste test and another video on uh, why he just walking out in front of the car on Vanessa's Van Life Journey. So if you are not subscribed to Vanessa's Van Life Journey, make sure you subscribe to the Arrived. channel. So, yeah, I'm about to go in here and get some food, y'all, and see how many people up in here. I can already tell it's a lot of people up in here because whoo, the gas pumps, like it's over a hundred gas pumps, and I'm pretty sure they are all full. And we are past a half a tank of gas, so I'm definitely gonna have to get some gas before I leave here and see how much the gas is. So yeah, y'all, we made it to Bucky's. And y'all stay tuned for more things on the channel. I'm gonna see uh, what is there to do in this area. I think there is a state park nearby. And I think it's some RV places too. So I wanna take y'all to some RV places so let me go see if I could park on an end where I could kind of be off to myself so when I bring my food out I can do a taste test I wish I could have parked right there there's a car over there it's a car I kind of want to be away from everybody Okay, y'all, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye. Thanks for watching.